little sods. Now the biggest question I get asked on this channel is what size tyres and wheels do I have on the Land Rover? So I thought I'd make a little video. The tyres that are on it are the 26575 R16 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s. They're uh, a decent all-terrain tyre and uh, they've got a nice tough sidewall as well with a lot of grip for going in some mud. I don't tend to do that much mud driving so um, up here in the north of the UK it's mainly rocky um, in Yorkshire Dales and Lake District mainly rock gravelly tracks so these work perfect. Uh, if I was doing a lot more mud driving then I'd go for a mud tyre and not an all-terrain um, but I also do a lot of motorway driving with the caravan on the back so these work perfect. The wheels are I think a negative 32 offset um, if you think about offset, offset is the distance between the hub of the vehicle and the centre of the wheel so if it's a negative offset your hub is set further towards the back of the wheel so instead of it being in the centre you're looking at more towards the back of the wheel so you get a bit more of a deep dish wheel uh, it gives you a bit more stance and uh, I always think it looks a little bit better as well um, a plus offset would mean this part of your hub would be further out so if you had like a plus zero um, or plus one or five or something like that you'd be you'd be right out here so you'd have a, a very a very shallow depth of wheel um, I think you can go quite far in um, not too sure how deep you can go but obviously once you go too deep you end up putting extra strain the wheels leaning you've got all that extra strain on the wheel bearings so these are a negative 32 they're a standard 16 inch steel wheel um, no frills just a, a black steel wheel Yeah. the reason I went with steel is cost and if you do dint them you can actually bash them back out whereas an alloy you can hit a pothole and crack an alloy and that's it it's written off whereas if you if you dint these you can always bash them back out and it'll get you home at least yeah overall I'm really happy with the tyres and the wheels I think they look really good on the car and uh, yeah I like the stance that these wheels give me on the car I used to have um, a different offset wheel um, and 30 mil wheel spaces I think they were just a, a standard zero offset wheel um, and and then the 30 mil spaces which then gave me a little bit of extra stance in the arches but I've heard a lot of horror stories about wheel spaces failing and wheels flying off while you're driving and I decided to go for a different route and uh, try and get a, a wheel that would fit let's go outside and we'll have a look at them on the car and you can see the sort of stance that they give with the flared arches and a 2 inch suspension lift so coming out to the back of the car you can see the wheel is just inside the arches but you've got a good bit of stance there they come out quite nicely not too far and not too close into the wheel arch looking around the front I have toyed with painting my wheels white not too keen on that so I'm going to go back black they did need a paint anyway so that's not a problem from the front you might be able to see again they stick out a little bit but not too much so overall you get a nice bit of stance there you go. so hopefully that answers the questions that is my wheel and tyre setup 
I'm not looking at changing it anytime soon. I'm really happy with how it handles on the road, how it performs. I've got a two inch lift on the Discovery and them tires fit, fill the arches pretty well. Um, I do have a little bit of an issue on full flex on the rear. It rubs a little bit on the arch, but how often it happens is not, it's not a problem. Uh, I can handle that. Um, yeah, very happy with them. If you're looking at a same, similar set of setup to that, um, 26575 R16 tyres um, and a negative 32 to 35 offset. I think you'll be alright with a negative 35. Um, or if you have different wheels um, without a negative offset, you can also get the wheel spaces, but do it at your own uh, risk. <laughs> I've heard stories. I never had any problems with mine, but I didn't want to take any risks. I've got kids in my car, so no chances. <laughs> Hope that you've enjoyed the video, it's just been a quick one, I've um, got lots planned for the Discovery and uh, I've got all sorts to put on it to fit, still got bits to go on, um, service kits, all that kind of stuff um, and the MOT is due in a couple of weeks so I've got a little bit of work to do before I put it through the MOT. So like I say, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up, do whatever you want to do, subscribe if you haven't already there's going to be plenty more videos, trips, caravan trips, off-road trips, bit of fixing, bit of this and bit of that, all sorts. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.